So today we are starting a new unit and it is on solving systems of linear equations. So what I would like you to do is, if you have the chapter five packet, so if you attended the last week of school, um, the last couple of days, you received the chapter five packet of hard copies. If not, you'll have to go to your Google Classroom post. I'd like you to do the pizza problem if you haven't already done that. And it again, this is, you know how I introduce every unit to give you a practical reason or for you to have an understanding of why we're doing what we're doing. So if you need to stop the video to work on that, do that please. Okay, so the pizza problem talks about two different situations. We've got pizzas and I've got a pepperoni and I have a ham and pineapple. Personally, I don't think fruit should be mixed with meat, but anyway. Um, and then we also have that talks about a combination of each piece of, each piece pizza having so many calories. All right, so I made P stand for my pepperoni and I made H stand for my ham and pineapple. So it's, uh, it reads that a half a pepperoni pizza plus three fourths of a half ham and pineapple is 765 calories. And then it reads that a fourth of a pineapple plus uh, an entire ham and, fourth of a pepperoni, I'm sorry, plus an entire ham and pineapple equals 745 calories. All right, so we now have two equations and what we are trying to figure out is the P and H, the point, the ordered pair that works in both. So this is an example of linear equations. Now, um, if you look at the top, it's going to say solve by elimination. We're not ready to do that yet, but this was just a way to introduce you so that you know what I mean by a system of equations. A system of linear equations has at least two equations and you are looking for the point that works in both. All right, so now let's go to the solve by graphing notes. It is attached and, uh, or you may have a hard copy of it. Okay, so let's take a look at the warm up. So the warm up questions are, if we're gonna be solving a system by graphing, all right, that's one way to solve systems of linear equations. We gotta review graphing, which means we gotta be able to take our equations and put them in slope intercept form. All right, so in the warm up in number one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3x and I have negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 7. All right, and then I'm going to divide by negative 2. And so my slope would be 3 halves and my y intercept would be 0, negative 7 halves. All right. Again, I'm just asking you to name that. We're not graphing those yet. All right, number two, I'm going to get y on a side by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4x. Then I'm going to divide by negative one. That's a negative one. So I have y equals 4x minus nine. So my slope is four and my y-intercept is zero, negative nine. Okay, so now that we've reviewed that, that's gonna help us because what we are going to do is we're gonna solve a system by graphing. Okay, so what is a system again? It means you have two or more linear, you have two or more equations. I think that just the word system implies that, um, that we have more, we have several things going on here. All right, now a system of equations. All right, two or more equations. Now, we are going to solve them. What does that mean by solving? All right, in the past, we have just graphed each one of these and we made x, y charts. Um, we made x, y charts and um, figured out points that worked on the line. So what does it mean when I'm solving a system? Well, a system means that I am looking for the ordered pair or the point that works in both or that makes both equations true or that is a point on both lines. Okay, so let's take a look at example one. So our first method, there are gonna be different methods for solving by graphing and, uh, or by solving systems, I'm sorry. The three methods we're going to use is we're gonna solve by graphing, we're going to solve by substitution, we're gonna solve by elimination. All right, so we're gonna solve by graphing first. Graphing is going to work well when you don't have ugly numbers, when you don't have ugly fractions, when you don't have big numbers. 
So that pizza problem is not one that we're gonna answer the question right away because that would not be a good one to use for graphing. It's got fractions, it's got big numbers. But we will come back to that when we are solving by elimination. Okay, so let's take a look at example one. I am going to solve this system. I have two equations, so I'm going to graph each one and I'm going to look for where they intersect. All right, so I'm gonna take my blue equation and get y by itself. And when I do that, I subtract two x. My slope is negative two, my y intercept is zero two. So I start at zero two, I go up two left one, down two right one. All right, let's go to my green equation. My green equation, I'm gonna get y by itself. I'm gonna subtract x, I'm gonna divide by negative one. The slope is one, the y-intercept is zero, negative four. So I start here at zero, negative four, up one, right one, up one, right one. Now make sure you draw the lines long enough so you can see where they intersect. All right, so they intersected, you have a nice graph, they intersected at the point two, negative two. So what does that mean? That is a point that works in both equations. That is a point that is on both of my lines. That is an answer to both equations. Let me show you and check. I'm gonna put two and a negative two into the blue equation. Two times two is four, four minus two is two. Yep, it works. I'm gonna put two negative two into the green equation. Two minus a negative two is four, four equals four. Yes, it works. Two negative two is the answer to that system. Now, if we're gonna be graphing two lines, let's talk about what can happen when we graph. So when I graph two lines, they could intersect. All right, they may just intersect, they may be perpendicular. It doesn't matter when I'm solving a system, uh, but if they intersect, we are looking at the point where they intersect, which means there will be one solution. Okay, what else can happen? Well, when I go to graph two lines, can I get parallel lines? They may not intersect. Well, let's think about that. If they don't intersect, they have no points in common, which means there's no solution to that system. Now, something else you may not see right away, but you can go to graph a line, and then you go to graph another line, and um, they get, become the same line. That's called coincide. Coincide means that one line is the, sa the it's same as the other. They lay on top of each other. So what does that mean? Well, they have every point in common. So that means there are infinite solutions to the system, but we gotta be specific. It is the solutions that are on this line, the points that are on this line. Okay, so now let's take a look at example two. So looking at example two, if you look at those two equations, right away, just from what we know, we should know, expect these to be parallel because don't they have the same slopes? All right, I'm gonna graph my blue equation. My blue equation is a y-intercept of zero, one, slope of three. Up three, right one, down three, left one. My green equation has a y-intercept of zero, negative eight, slope of three. Start at zero, negative eight, up three, right one, up three, right one. Where do they intersect? Okay, they don't intersect, so that means there's no solution to the system. All right, now, example three. All right, let's graph these two lines. Makes it nice when they're in slope-intercept form, doesn't it? So my blue equation, it's already slope-intercept form. My y-intercept is zero, two, a slope of negative one. So I went up one left one, down one right one. My green equation, y-intercept of zero, five, slope of two, up two right one, down two left one. They intersect, so I am looking for where they intersect. Well, they intersect at the point negative one, three. So negative one, three is a point on both lines. It is the answer to this system. Check it, if I put in negative one, the opposite of negative one is one, one plus two is three. If I put in negative one here, two times negative one is negative two, negative two plus five is three. Okay, last one. All right, I'm gonna graph my blue line. So my y-intercept is zero, one, slope of one half. Up one, right two, down one, left two. All right, now I'm gonna graph my green line. Now my green line, I gotta get y by itself. So I subtract four x, and then I divide by negative four. Hey, take a look at this. That ends up being y equals one half x plus one. So this is what I meant by coincide. If I go to graph this, aren't I on the top of the blue line? So they share every point. So that means there are infinite solutions that lie on that line. So solving a system means you are looking for what points they have in common. 
Solving a system means those points work in both equations.